Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. Today we're going to be looking at another obscure ship. So as I mentioned, I've rooted through the creations channel in my Discord server and I've found a ship uh, which I would like to have a little bit of a look at. So here it is, it's the Buzzard Heavy Transport Gunship by Wolfie5. Um, so if we bring it up in the menu here... I'm typing in Wolfie. Um, it just says heavy transport gunship. That's the description. Wolfie 5. It uses six DLC packs, 2,058 blocks, and it's a small grid. So, yeah, I thought we'd have a look at it. I thought it was a really interesting, um, really sleek um, gunship shape. So, I wanted to have a little bit of a closer look at it. So, I've not actually looked at it yet. Um, I thought we would have a little peek together. So, Right off the bat, we're, we're, we're sporting some pretty heavy armaments here. Um, and so actually some quite nice greeble to build these railguns into the hull here. So we've actually got two forward railguns. We've got four forward Gatling turrets. Uh, Gatling guns, sorry. Um, and we've also got an auto cannon turret. I love these things. These are absolutely amazing. Um, we have assault cannons in the, uh, the sort of wings. That's crazy, um, and looks like you have to manually load them. I don't think they're actually conveyed. Oh, they are conveyed. Okay, cool, but you can also manually load them by the looks of things. We have a connector here at the back. This ship flies on hydrogen, so it is actually capable of, of heading into space as well, which is a big plus. Uh, we have another connector on the top with a camera to make it a little bit easier to, to dock it to stations. Uh, we've got some nice strutting uh, to make it look a little bit more reinforced. Looks like we've got some sort of landing gear here, um, or at least some blast doors. I don't know if this pops out. It looks like it does. We'll check that out in just a second. Um, and I don't think we have any other con uh, connectors on the bottom. We've got some nice greeble again here, um, access to some O2H2 generators. That's really nice, actually, um, with the little grated window on the front. Really, really nice. So we've got a door uh, leading into the interior here, so let's step inside. Uh, we've got oxygen tank, we've got some turret controllers, um, whether they're there just for greeble or if there's actually some turrets I've missed, I don't know. Um, but what does this do? Oh. Uh, something to do with sci-fi. It's something to do with sci-fi. Does it lock the doors? Yeah, it locks the doors. Okay, cool. So you can lock the doors and stop people. Um, jumping out when you're flying. This is for the, the air vent there, so you can depressurize on and off. That's really cool, especially for a space vessel. Built-in little armories here, fantastic. Got some hydrogen storage above you, and you've got these nice railings as well, these Spocks of the Future um, neon railings. Really, really cool. Um, got some text panels going up here. I think these are actually just for show, um, but they make it look like a sort of like little computer, which is really cool. Um, and then into the cockpit here, where if we hop in, we can see... So this thing flies pretty well in 1G, actually. Oh, I do like a railgun. Um, let's have a look at what we have here. Ah, so we have the salvo script, which is why they're firing like that. Does did that shoot them both? Oh, no. So they're staggered as well. Got the Gatling guns, very nice, very nice. Um, and then I believe we actually have the landing gear as well. Do we have a camera? I don't think we have a forward camera actually. Doesn't look like we have a forward camera. Um, we can control the turret though, but we have to do that through the control panel. Let's see what this landing gear looks like. Oh, it's in the rear as well. Drop it down onto the gear here. Some batteries there. I mean, it must have quite a lot of power. Pistons are jiggling about. I can fix that though. Observe. There we go. Fantastic. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, this thing looks really, really nice. I haven't seen much of Wolfie's work. I believe he's quite new to the server. Um, but this is definitely a really, really nice, sleek gunship. Um, definitely a big fan of this. 
nice and easy to jump into as well. I don't, you can't actually just walk into it, um, but it's quite easy to to jump into, so that's absolutely fine. Um, I'm kind of tempted to try and spawn something in here and have a little bit of a fight. Let me see if I can find something for us to battle. Give me a second. All right, welcome back, guys. I've spawned in uh, one of the pirate stations. And it spawns some drones. And we're in space because it's in space. And I don't know, I kind of want. We're, we're, it's space. Okay, it's space. Let's make sure the turret is online. Nope, well, that answers that question. I think I just extended the gear by accident. Take out these fucking drones. Oh shit. Can we hit it with a railgun? Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Get fucked. God, they're tough little bastards, aren't they? Those drones are fucking tough. Right. There's one down. Take this one out. See if we can hit it with a rail gun. Oh, <laughs> fuck off! Right, let's head on a bit close to the pirate station here. See if we can hit it with a few rounds. Oh shit! There's a fucking missile turret. Take out that missile turret. Get moving! Get moving! Ah, the missile turret's dead. Got into it's dead. There's another one somewhere, I can't see it. That turret's dead. Let's hit them hydros. Oh shit, there's still a drone. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Let's take out that signal. Yes. I think that's a, I think that's a victory for the uh, for the buzzers. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang about, hang about, hang about. There we go. Pirate station taken care of. Fantastic. That was actually a... Didn't really take that much damage. Let me bring those uh, things back in. We lost the turret. Um, but overall... Oh. What's happening? Oh, no, 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 no. One of the subgrids has fallen off. I think one of the pistons is damaged. There we go. Yeah, so overall... Not a lot of damage. Not a lot of damage at all on the buzzard. Very impressed. That was a whole lot of fun, actually. Um, especially the uh, the rail guns. So that is the buzzard by Wolfie, the heavy transport gunship. Um, go and check it out. It will be the first link in the description below. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and as always, take care, everybody.